what an orange light is, an amber light in a traffic light. Of course you do. And what are we supposed to do when we come to an orange light? <coughs> We're supposed to slow down. Uh, I often speed up, have to be honest, to get through the light. The reason the orange light is there is to warn us that the red light is coming. And I had a very interesting uh, insight uh, just recently where I had where I ran an orange light four times with four different clients. They were saying things that I didn't want to hear because I had an agenda. I wanted them to do particular things for income. They were part of my budget and I would count them into certain programs and certain things. And because this was important to me, I wasn't paying attention to the, um, the red, uh, sorry, the orange lights, the amber lights. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't notice what they were saying. And of course, ultimately, <clears throat> I turned into a red light and um, I, I'd run the amber light. Um, they were back there at the red light. For them, it was a stop I'd gone through and um, then I had to deal with a, a messy situation. And this happened to me three or four times. It didn't happen to me once. So this was, there was a pattern here. And I reflected on it and I asked myself the question, why? Why do we run these red lights in relationships and business dealings and so on and so forth? Why do we run these amber lights? Why don't we see the amber, see the, um, the orange and say, that's a warning. I need to stop. I need to reflect. I need to take a step back. In um, Let's Get Real, Let's Not Play, that absolutely outstanding uh, sales book, which I recommend to everybody, uh, they make the case very strongly about the amber lights, uh, stopping the amber lights, asking the questions, facing up to reality, dealing with it in advance. If you're not going to get the piece of business, if you're not going to get the deal, if things aren't going to happen the way you, you want, best to know about it now. <laughs> it's going to happen anyway. It's going to turn into a red light whether you like it or not. And if you run through the amber light and leave the other person behind, well, that's the end of the relationship. So um, it's really important to deal with these things up front and then deal with reality. And typically, of course, when you do, it means you have to change your budget, it means you have to change your plan. It means that if the world doesn't exactly pan out the way you want it to, to do, uh, but... Um, that's just the reality of life and the single most important thing of course that any of us can do is deal with reality face up to understand reality and deal with it as best we can um, so think about these amber lights think about your relationship think about your business dealings and ask yourself the question are there orange lights are there amber lights flashing there that i should be aware of um, and not run them slow down and stop have the conversation make sure that the amber light turn doesn't turn into a red light in the relationship and deal with the issues in advance up front in the best way you can and um, certainly the person you're dealing with will appreciate it and i think you'll find it's less stressful if you like this stuff by the way um, please uh, share it like it and subscribe uh, i like doing these and uh, it would be nice that we could get them out to more people i've got good feedback from them and it'd be nice if we could share them with um, other people thank you